Hey everybody, today we're going to look at a previous transcription that I did on this channel. Around March, I posted a transcription of every note Wes Montgomery played on his famous song, Gone with the Wind. In today's lesson, I want to talk about some licks and concepts that I learned from this challenging, but yet rewarding experience. Let's jump into it right now. So first off, for those of you who haven't heard this recording, I urge you to check it out right now. It's a great masterclass on how to play melodically, as well as how to play with octaves and chord soloing. Now the first concept I want to talk about is Wes's use of small motivic ideas. What he'll like to do is take an idea and move it through the changes. This one in particular motif really stood out to me. It's so simple, yet so tasteful. It can be used over any chord in a 2-5-1 progression. Wes plays this one in E flat, so the chords would be F minor 7, B flat dominant 7, and then finally E flat major 7. I find that having small ideas like this can really help break up the constant or monotonous flow of eighth note lines. Here are a couple examples of how we can use this motif in some lines. The second concept I want to cover is how Wes can simplify or expand chord progressions. One example that I think is worth looking at is how he treats the walkdown progression from the one chord to the dominant six chord. Here is what he plays over this. So what I'm hearing is that he simplifies this chord progression to just two chords, G half diminished and C dominant seven. So it's just a minor two five. The reason that he can do this is that he knows where this progression is going, and that C7 in this song resolves to F minor 7. So it's 5 to 1. This is very useful to know, as this chord progression is used in many different tunes and can be kind of tricky to solo over. Here are some examples of lines using this concept. On the other end of things, Wes sometimes likes to expand a chord progression. For example, in this song he puts a side slip 2-5 at the end of the form. We can take this idea and put it into our own soloing. When you have a long 2-5, just put a 2-5 a half step above it in the bar before. So you have two short 2-5s. Here is one line that Wes played using this type of progression. The last thing I want to cover is just some really great licks that I took from him. When learning these, make sure to learn them as many different keys as you can. To sum up our three concepts that we covered, the first one was Wes using motivic ideas to move through changes and that can help break up lines as well as add interest to our lines. The second concept was to either simplify or expand chord progressions. The key is to look at where things are going. And the last thing that we did is to steal some licks from Wes. The final thing I want to do in this lesson is try to apply all three of our topics that we covered in a short etude over one chorus of Gone with the Wind. I'll label when I use a lick or a concept covered in our lesson.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video about three different things that I took from Wes Montgomery's Gone with the Wind. If you like this video and want to see more videos like it, make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Also, make sure to leave a comment below with any topics that you want to see in the future. I always read them and I love hearing back from you guys. Thanks again and remember to always keep swinging.